Hello colleagues, today I want to show you how you can arrange your examination room automatically using um, uh, Excel. And uh, before we start, I want uh, to take you to the simple template that we are using to uh, make a sitting arrangement for the examination. So this is the template, this is the program. So it's just opening up. Okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, as you able to see here, we have uh, the dashboard. This is uh, the home page where we start from. So uh, we have the school details. You have to put uh, some few details in the school. Then uh, you need to uh, generate the index number or roll examination numbers for your candidates or students. Then uh, here you will go to uh, your rooms where those examinations are done. And then we will be uh, generated for by this particular software, the arrangement, the examination and uh, searching arrangement. So here we start, we need to put in the school details. So when you click that, you will uh, have this particular a window where you are supposed to edit your school. So by default, you are able to see that this is the school as at now, but you can change appropriately. So let's change this school uh, to be a skyline, skyline, skyline uh, computer school, skyline computer school, uh, then. Uh, we can put, uh, you can also put your code number, the code of the school, the examination code number. So you can uh, put your code number there. Okay. Then uh, you update. So when you click update, that detail uh, will have been saved. Okay. So now uh, after that, you need to generate the index numbers for the examination roll numbers for your students or the candidates. Uh, always, uh, we are going to use the normal number, the normal numbering. So when you're generating the index numbers, you will be prompted to put in the total number of candidates or the total number of students or pupils you have. So if you have, for example, 108 candidates that were supposed to sit for that particular exam, that is what you put here. Then when you do that, when you click this generate button, when you click this generate button, uh, you will have all your rooms well arranged. So all your rooms will have automatically arranged the seating plan, the seating arrangement will uh, have been generated for you automatically without your say. But you can still manage them, you can still change uh, them the way you want. But as of now, let us just generate the index numbers. So when you generate the role examination numbers of the index numbers, uh, we are going to straight now to the rooms. So when you go to room one and you select the room one, you will see already the seating arrangement has been done for you. The seating arrangement has been done for you. So this is the default seating arrangement as per uh, the system, but you can actually change them. Here, um, but let us look at it. Here we have the center name. Remember we had uh, fed in Skyline Computer School as the center name. Then the code, the center code, you put in your center code, it's here. Then the total number of candidates will be <coughs> reflected here just for this room, That's just for this particular room. So this room is room one, as you're able to see. So room one, uh, the generated seating plan requires that we have 50 students within this particular room. So these are now rows, these are rows. You can, you can manage the number of students who are supposed to be in each row. So this room here uh, maximumly has got nine rows, but you can actually you can actually uh, manage the number of rows 
that are supposed to be in your in your uh, in your rooms. So here we have the row one, row two, row three, row four. Okay, we have the bench row. Each bench row has three uh, three rows, as you are able to see. So now, according to this particular generated sitting plan, you are able to see that we have only utilized uh, some uh, five rows. So here we have the two rows. Yeah, one, then the two rows. So according to the number of the candidates we have, uh, that is uh, suitable. That is suitable. But when you have very many students sitting for that particular exams, then you can always manage the number of students and also the number of rows that are supposed to be uh, used. For example, here you can, instead of uh, putting zero candidate here, you can even put whichever number you want. You can even put uh, uh, maybe four, maybe four. But whenever you do that, the pattern, the numbering will continue. The numbering will continue. Uh, like now, if you put four, then automatically this one will be 14. This one will be 11. Then this will be 15. If you put uh, five, it is automatic, you can see. Now when we are putting nine, okay, nine, you can see we still have the numbering continuing in that particular order very well. So according to the number of students we have, because we have eight, eight rooms, so now we can just uh, have zero candidates here. Yes, the way the system already generated it for us. So that will be suitable. So uh, this one is the arrangement for room one. Room one, you can see the system says, is containing uh, roll number one up to fifth index number one up to index fifth for room one. So when you go to room two, so remember uh, here we have uh, some buttons here you can easily navigate the rooms. So when you go to room uh, two, because this one is room one as you able to see, so when you go to room two to check the generated sitting plan, uh, you have this one here. So this is by default. This is the generated sitting plan, but you can change uh, by playing around with this uh, uh, this number of these numbers we have uh, here. So whenever you play around with them, the sitting arrangement will be altered uh, without a problem. It will be altered as per your requirement without a problem. So this now, as you are able to see, now this one is containing index numbers from 51. To 100. Remember the other room, uh, when we go back to room uh, 1, for example, we had from 1 to 50. So when you go to room uh, room 2, it will now be 51 to 100 as per uh, this particular generated uh, sitting arrangement because it's having 50, 50 candidates. So the candidates will be from 51 to 100. But you can change, but you can change if you feel that. Uh, this row should contain this number of students. You can just uh, uh, play around with that. Each row is containing maximum 13, according to this program, 13 students uh, in each row. But also we have nine rows here. You can add as many as possible rows as you want. And each row you can put maximum 13 students. Uh, but remember, as I've said, whenever you alter the arrangement as per the generated one, the system will adjust appropriately according to that. So for example, let me say I want 10 students in this row. You can see, you can see how the system has adjusted appropriately. Now it is saying this room is now having 51 to 108. So it will adjust. When you go to the next room, uh, it will now from 109. So it is adjusting very suitable, very nicely as per your uh, alteration. So, so now, now let's just have uh, zero here. Let's have let's have zero the way the system has generated it for us. So it has gone back to 51 to 100. Okay. So these numbers, okay, this number of students per row, you can play around with them as per your wish. So now let's go to room three. Also we see. So room three, uh, remember we had 108 students. So, which means room three will only contain eight students. It will only contain eight students, as you're able to see, is reflected here. So, we only have eight students in room three. So, but uh, if you like, 
you can actually fix the A students in a, a room two by increasing the number of students uh, in those particular rows. Those eight students will be uh, will fit in. If you go back to room two, if you go back to room two, you're able to see that uh, uh, those eight students can still fit in even room two when we adjust the number of students uh, in this row. So let, for example, we say room one, let us have uh, let us have maybe 11 students in row one. You can see it is adjusting. In row two, let's have in row, this our row, let's have 11 also. You can see this also, let's have, then here we can also have 12 students. Okay, here we can also have 12. So you're able to see that uh, we have gone up to 108. So that when you now go to room three, you'll be able to see room three is now empty. We have uh, we have had all our students in room one and room two. So basically, that's how it's it's, it's working. Let's go back home. We want to put in. Uh, let me put. Uh, let me put maybe for example. Uh, uh, let me put. Uh, 350 students because some students have got as many as 500 candidates or students sitting for a particular exam. So let me put, uh, for example, 350. 350. I think that's a higher number. So let us generate the index numbers uh, because that is the number of students we have. So now when you go to room one, because we have only we have only eight. Uh, rooms and uh, the candidates setting exams at 350. So per room, because we have, uh, according to the default arrangement, as you are able to see, per room is containing 50, according to this default arrangement. So according to this setting that we had put earlier, uh, it's going to have 50 times 8, which is uh, uh, 400, which will be 400. Uh, but we, we, we had put at 350. So, so let, let us navigate, navigate the rooms. That, that is room, room one, where really that's the arrangement. arrangement. Room two, that's, that's the arrangement. You're able to see the arrangement. Room three, you're able to see that's the arrangement. Room four, you're able to see that's the generated sitting plan. Room five, so very nice, very nice. You can see we are at 258. It's indicating 209, 209 up to 258. Room six, Generated sitting plan from room six. Now from two fifty nine up to three o eight. What about room seven? Room seven we have. Room seven we have from three o nine to three fifty. Remember, because we put three fifty as the total number of candidates we have for that particular exam, then our room seven will contain forty two students, as you are able to see up here. Uh, but uh, it's ranging from 309 to 350. So this last row here, in this room 7, we have uh, two students. We have only two students. But you can, if you like, you can move these two students to this row and this row, if you like. So that means you will adjust this one to 11, 11 students, and this one also to 11. You can see we are moving them to those rows. And you would see it's now very, very nice, very nice. nice. So, so that will be the sitting plan for those your uh, students, for the students. So that is how you'll be using this. Uh, colleagues, it's very nice, very nice. And it will make your work easier whenever you have a, a generated those sitting plan, you're able to print and then give them the students, they're able to uh, follow that and uh, uh, do that to the light. So, for example, if you go to room one, you want to print, you want to print a uh, basic arrangement. You just come and uh, maybe look at it, how it looks like, see how it is very nice. That is the print preview. So you can print this one if you like. You can print that one if you like. That's the print preview. Or you can uh, uh, just click print here direct and you can see it is now printing. Then you will just collect it from your, your printer. Okay, okay, that is nice. So that is across if you go to any.
So uh, that is how it works, uh, friends. I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, till next time, I want to bid you bye-bye. Thank you for watching.